Here's my formula for using ABS juice or what the RepRap community calls ABS juice. Basically what ABS juice is, is it is a uh, ABS filament, uh, either 3 millimeter or 1.75 millimeter, uh, and acetone, um, just regular, you know, garden variety of acetone that you can find at a hardware store, and then uh, mix it together in a, a little jar. And so uh, basically I use a small little 8 ounce jar, and uh, I put about 4 ounces or about half full of the ABS. Or, or of the acetone in there. So it's about half full. You don't need to worry about it if it spills. Acetone is um, uh, very, very, very prone to evaporate extremely fast. So anyway, and then what I do is uh, I take about 12 inches or 30 millimeters um, or 30 centimeters worth of 3 millimeter um, RepRap ABS or you can use, uh, if you use 1.75 millimeter, use just three times that length. So uh, about 90 centimeters or three feet worth of that. And then uh, what you do is you cut it up using just regular nippers. And usually I cut it into uh, kind of small sections where it's uh, got maybe um, one inch or two inch things and you just drop them in the bucket. If you drop a little bit it's no big deal. And what this is is a HDPE uh, container, HDPE lid, and on the inside of it, um, mo as important as the bottle is itself to being able to resist acetone, which is a pretty good solvent, um, is the liner. And so on the inside of the liner, you want to make sure that it actually doesn't degrade also. Uh, turns out some bottles do. This one actually uses a, a polyethylene foam. And then you tighten it all down, shake it a little bit, and you leave it. And overnight, uh, you know, 12 to 24 hours, uh, all of these little individual filaments that you see in there, you see they're already starting to stick together, uh, sort of. Um, then what they will do is they will degrade and uh, they'll actually mix in with the ABS. So here's what I've done. Um, I've taken some and in about 24 to 48 hours you can kind of see this is actually natural so it doesn't show up so much. But there's a little bit of precipitation in the bottom of it. I think that's probably the rubber component of the ABS. Uh, if you get ready to use it, all you need to do is shake it up so that it's all kind of mixed in there. And you open it up and you just put a little bit on a paper towel. And once you get the paper towel, you don't really need to worry about acetone because your body kind of produces a little bit of it already. It's not a carcinogen, um, but it isn't something that you would want to to drink a lot of. So one of the things that I recommend is actually putting on poison control labels just in case uh, you're around children or something. This one's Mr. Yuck. He's kind of like a universal thing. Um, I don't use the poison control labels that have skull and crossbones because uh, really small little children there's a chance that uh, they might actually think it's uh, kind of like pirate juice or piratey or something and pirates are kind of cool to little little kids. So if you put this on there, then they kind of get the feeling uh, with the green guy and he's already turned his nose up at it and sticking out his tongue, um, then chances are they don't want to drink it either. So anyway, on the shelf I do that. Uh, once you have it all mixed up and you're ready to go, you just open it up, fold over a paper towel a couple times, and you put it on the paper towel, and then you just very lightly go over The PET lined uh, mirrored plate or glass plate, if you want to use like borosilicate or uh, uh, trade names Pyrex, you can use that too. Once you go over it, um, I, I go like 40 or 50 prints on the same plate without ever having to reapply it. So it's not something that you have to reapply every single time. And then uh, once you're done, you actually just throw the, um, the piece out. One of the things, like I said, that is important is that you make sure that this thing is capped really good and that the uh, liner in it doesn't cap. I did a, kind of an experiment. Um, one is that here's 
ABS juice that I made two months ago and it hasn't lost so much as a microliter. You can maybe see a little bit of the precipitation in the bottom of it. But um, with that, that combination worked really good. What I did also at the same time is uh, I put just regular capped on tape that I stuck around it. Had the same amount in here and in one week it was gone. So uh, acetone will evaporate very, very quickly unless you have a good seal and a good lid on it in a good container.